Okay, um, I'll go through this one a little bit quicker. I'll try to. And let's just go through this one like a review, how quickly we'd do it. So I'm going to actually do everything on this problem. I'm going to find the, all the asymptotes. I'm going to find all the intercepts. And I am going to determine your solution points. So let's do the first one, vertical asymptote. Set your denominator equal to 0. No, oh, that was easy, right? <laughs> right? Horizontal. You have three choices. Your um, denominator is either le the degree in your denominator is either less than the degree in the numerator, your degrees are equal, or your degree in your numerator is larger. Remember, for each one of those, you need to know the you need to know each one equals your leading coefficient over your leading coefficient. And which one do we have? Ding ding ding! Right, the degree in my numerator is larger than the degree in my dom denominator. So n is greater than m. So our horizontal, we do not have. All right? When we don't have a horizontal, that tells us we're going to have a slant. To find slant, we use long division. Divide in. x goes into 2x, 2x times. 2x times x is 2x squared. Um, that's it. So then we go, that gives us 0. Bring down um, plus 0, x plus 0. So therefore, we get, uh, bring, that, bring that down. So the 0x, which is actually just going to be 0, it's not going to be there, and 1. x is not going to 1, so we have our remainder, 1 over x, which again goes to infinity or 0. So we're just left with our slant is y equals x, right? Just take your quotient. Oh, I'm sorry, y equals 2x, right? Thank you. OK, cool. Now the next thing is let's find our x and our f of x intercepts. So x intercept means f of x equals 0. Um, f of x intercept, x equals 0. So x intercept, f of x equals 0, 0 equals 2x squared plus 1 divided by x. This one, we have f of x equals 2 times 0 squared plus 1 divided by 0. Here, remember, how do you solve? You've got to get the x off the bottom or your denominator off, so you multiply it. Anything times 0 is 0. Anything divided by itself is 1. So you're left with 0 equals 2x squared plus 1. As I subtract a 1, I automatically know that I'm going to start, I'm going to have to take the square root of a negative number, right? Maybe not. Hopefully now you guys see x squared equals negative 1 half. I cannot take the square root of a negative number. So therefore, do I have an x-intercept? No. That's supposed to be a do not exist. We don't have any x-intercepts. For this one, my f of x is um, 2 times 0, so I have equals 1 over 0. I proved you again that that does not exist, right? So therefore, my graph does not cross the x, nor does it cross the y-intercept. Kind of crazy. So let's take a look then at uh, what this is going to be. So I don't have an x or a y-intercept. Um, so now, let's kind of graph it, even though I'm not going to ask you guys to graph. Let's kind of take a look at what this graph should look like. And because also we have to do our solution points. So we said that it has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. And then two x looks like this, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. So your slant asymptote looks something like that. Right? So we have a vertical and a horizontal. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to check. I'm just going to pick two points, two points to the left and two points to the right. So I will just do, how about we do negative 1, negative 2. And let's do 1 and 2. Right? Let's not make this too crazy on ourselves. So we just plug it in. If you have a calculator, you can use the table function. fx equals negative 2 squared plus 1 divided by negative 1. This becomes 1 times 2, 3. 3 over negative 1 is a negative 3. Negative 2.
And that becomes uh, positive 4, 8, 9, 9 divided by negative 2. Then we do f of 1. Again, that's 1, 2, 3 over 1, which is 3. And let's do f of 2. Four, eight, nine divided by two. So let's just go and plot these just so you guys can see what it looks like so you can see that they don't have any x and y intercepts. Um, so at negative one, I'm at negative three. One, two, three. At negative two, I'm at 4.5. Negative one, two, three, four point five. And let's say at 1, I'm at 3. And then at 2, I'm at 4.5. All right, so what you guys are going to notice when you graph this, your graph's going to look something like this. OK? It approaches your slant and your vertical asymptote. It approaches this slant and vertical asymptote, but it's never going to cross them over. So that's why we don't have an x-intercept or an f of x-intercept. Cool? And you got it? So that's all you guys have to do. Vertical, horizontal, slant, x, y, intercept. Pick your solution points to the left and to the right of your asymptotes. That's it. That's all I got for you. That's all I got.